What's up, Notary Nerds? It's your girl Monica here with an update. The Notary Nerd University website has now um, been updated to reflect our new library as well as some of my brand photos that I've been telling you guys about for the last few weeks. So here you can see we're at notarynerduniversity.com and the Notary Nerd University library is now available here a la carte, almost. <laughs> The links to all of the cards and these things, these, each of these things is called a course card. The links are not all active yet. So if you go to the website and you click to try to buy something, it's not going to work right now. Give me a few days and we'll get, we'll get all of that ironed out. But this is what it will look like. Now what I want to talk to you about is coaching, okay? Coaching is why all of these changes are happening. This is my happy space when I am helping people accomplish difficult things. I told you guys about my um, flagship product, which is a 12 month coaching program where I guarantee that I can take you to 100K in 12 months. It's really involved, I got my team involved and it's kind of like the big Mac daddy, what I really, really wanna help people do. But last week, something else fell in my lap and it's not as big, but it's, it's equally as impactful. What do I mean by that? It's about government contracting. So government contracting group coaching is another coaching program that I'm putting on my books. And that program is focused strictly on you getting local and state and federal government contracts in that order. So when you become a government contracting student of mine, group coaching student of mine, you will log in and you will see this beautiful picture right here and this write up about you know how I got here, right? So that if you're new to me and you need to get caught up on all that, that's right here. Then it tells you more about the group contracting, government contracting group coaching program. Let me make that a little bit bigger so we can talk about it. So in this program, it's not as expensive as the one that I told you about last week, right? The one I told you about last week guaranteed that I can get you to $100,000 in 12 months. I absolutely can do that, right? But in order to do that, I'm gonna to have to build a monthly membership platform for you. That is expensive and that takes time. It is absolutely worth it to do it, but it is expensive and it, is take, it does take time. There's no two ways about it, okay? This program that I'm talking to you about right now is smaller than that. This program does not involve a monthly membership platform. It doesn't involve you making five figures consistently every month. It doesn't involve any of that. What this program involves is you getting your business in order, going after the local county government contracts, then the state government contracts, and then the federal government contracts. But you're not gonna be doing this by yourself you're gonna be doing this with a little help. Which brings me to what happened last week. So last week I had a Florida notary reach out to me, actually two weeks ago. She'd been trying to reach out to me for quite a while and I just hadn't gotten back to her. I was busy doing all of the NNU archive drive, spring cleaning special things, right? So we finally connected and I'm so thankful that we did. She wanted to see if I would join in with her and go after a five year, government contract in the state of Texas. She's in Florida. I'm in Tennessee. The contract is in Texas. And so I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. I got amazing notaries in Texas. I could think of half a dozen awesome notaries just right off the top of my head. So I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So like last week we were like going crazy, trying to, you know, get everything done and get everything submitted by the deadline, which was Friday. Okay. Well, we got it in. Okay. It's a five-year contract, and I'm going to keep her business name and information, you know, private because we just submitted the bid, and I would much, I would much rather keep her information and the details of the bid private until and if we get awarded the contract, right? So, but I can share with you that she had all of her ducks in a row. She was already a woman on small business. She had some local certifications in Florida. She had um, the state, some state sort of set up state certifications in Florida. So all of her ducks were in a row when it came to her notary business. So when she came to me, it was very easy for me to just plug in with her, get her what she needed and us kind of get our proposal together and get it submitted. She did all of that detailed work. She got the proposal submitted. 
I provided her with the content of the um, information that she needed with regard to the performance of the contract. And then we kind of worked out the details from there. Now we're just waiting. And there's been several good signs because they've been the, the people that are um, reviewing the contract. We've got um, some indication that they are actually looking at her website and have been looking at it all weekend. So we are we are both very excited and very prayerful that this goes through because if it does, it's like a five-year contract and we will know exactly where our income is coming from. Not only that, we're going to be able to extend um, employment, 1099 employment to those five or six Texas notaries that I talked to you about already when it comes to the execution and performance of this contract. And honestly, I think they're going to need more than just trading services. I think they're going to need notaries. So I'm super excited about whatever happens down the road, right? So with this government contracting program, that really became like an aha moment for me as we were working together last week. And I thought to myself, I've run into so many amazing notaries that already have their woman on small business certification. I wonder if I open this up this opportunity up to every notary who's kind of like this Florida notary, what could we run across? What opportunities could we find? And so I said, well, let me just go ahead and put it together and put it out there and see what happens, right? There's, you know, nothing beats a failure but a try. So here I am coming to you with another offer, another coaching offer, and you'll see me do this from time to time when it makes sense. And this absolutely makes sense. What that Florida notary needed was a successful company that had a track record of results to join with her to make her proposal stronger. I repeat, what that Florida notary needed was a successful company with a proven track record of performance to join with her to make her proposal stronger. This is what this government contracting program, group coaching program is about. Those who are in this group coaching program, okay, will get access to me, all right, when it comes to applying for the government contracts, capability statement development, and I could kick myself. She asked me, this Florida notary asked me, do you have your capability statement? I'm like, huh? I typed up some stuff about my capabilities. She was like, no, your capability statement. And I knew good and doggone well that a capability statement is a capability statement. Thank you, Coach Georgette, for teaching us about capability statements. I don't know what I was thinking, but she was like, oh, no, you need your capability statement with your next codes and you need it published on your website. So that's going to be one of the first things that we work on in the group coaching program because I've already got um, a need to get that done. So, of course, you know me. I've got some templates I'm going to show you here in a second to, that are going to help, that's going to help me and those in my group get that capability statement done so we can get it on our website. But anyway, so this group coaching program is all about me helping you get your capability statement done, get your um, estimates done, reviewing your proposals, making you look good, okay, when it comes to you pursuing government contracts. And for 50 of you, I repeat, for the first 50 of you who joined the program, I'm going to offer you exactly what I offered her, which was you find the contract, you have your ducks in a row, I will be your subcontractor, which will give you instant credibility and separate you instantly from the pack when it comes to going after these government contracts. Now, yes, I cannot go in with you on a government contract on raising hogs, people, okay? The government contract has to be relative. It, it can I can fit in just about anything. I can fit in notary. I can fit in other legal services. I can fit in training and consulting. I can fit in management. I can fit in a couple of different NAICS codes, but I can't fit in like, you know, things that I have no proven track record of success in, right? So if you are pursuing government contracts or you're already certified and you're getting emails 
and these emails are in that area, then you need to think about joining this group coaching program. Because when you join, we will meet three times each week. You'll be able to hop on to what we call office hours, right? And let me know what exactly it is you have coming down the pipe or what you've seen, what you need. We'll look at your capability statement. We'll get that tightened up. We'll make sure that you understand what the proposal is asking for, which can be very confusing. We'll also, I will help you with the estimates. That was one of the big challenges last week was us trying to figure out all of the numbers and that all can be extremely overwhelming. So with this group coaching program, now you've got access for a whole year, okay, to me and my team as we continue to pursue government contracts. So again, to add a little spice to it, if you're the first 50 people to sign up for the group coaching, then what you're going to get is something extra. You're going to get the ability to add me as a subcontractor. You're not going to get that normally. Normally, the coaching program is just your office hours. I'm helping you with your capability statement. I'm helping you uh, put your proposal together. I'm helping you go after the contract by yourself, okay? I'm helping you do everything that you need to do in order to go after that contract. And I'm also probably going to connect you with other members of the group coaching program who may be able to bolster your contract up, okay? So I'm helping you and I'm helping you connect the dots. But for the first 50 of you who sign up, I'm doing something extra, okay? I'm allowing you to be the prime and I will step back and be the subprime on a contract that you go and find. Where are they doing that at, okay? And just to give you my receipts, Complete Signings was started in January of 2021, as I tell you here. And we're now in April of 2023 approaching half a million dollars in revenue, okay? Revenue year over year increased by 29% from January, I'm sorry, from 2021 to 2022, right? And we're on track to do really well for 2023. So we're not slowing down as you would think with the loan signing slowing down and interest rates slowing down and things of that nature because we've been able to pivot and solve other problems, right? Now we're pivoting into coaching and specifically coaching with government contracts, right? And or obviously last week's program where I'm going to take you to 100K if you're not there yet, right? These are big important things, especially based on all of that that's going on in the world right now. These kind of things that are guaranteeing you a source, a stream of income, are, are extremely important things that you should stop and take a serious look at. So when I tell you that my receipts will stand up, okay, my receipts are, are two-year-old company with proven revenue, CPA, bookkeeper, all of that. So if you don't have everything you need to go after government contracts and you're needing a somebody like me to help you, then this is your little hint, clue, whatever you want to call it to go ahead and join the government group coaching program so at least, and be one of the first 50 to do so, so that at least if you come across a government contract in the next 12 months that you think might work for you, then you don't have to worry about who can help you or who turning to help to find somebody to help you pursue it. You will have the ability, as one of the first 50 people to sign up, you will have the ability to have me subcontract on your contract which instantly makes your contract look really, really, really good, okay? Obviously, like I said before, there are only certain NAICS codes that I'm expert in, right, that I can be or claim expertise in, and we talked about those earlier. Now, let's talk about this real quick, and I'm going to let you go. You must have or be willing to get all of these things in order before you come into group coaching. If you come into group coaching and you don't have at least six of these things already done, it's going to be a struggle for you. You're probably going to be kind of wasting your money at the beginning, okay? Because you really need a majority of these things done or when you join group coaching, you need to get it done quickly. Okay, what am I talking about? You need to have a business structure. 
You need to already know if you're an LLC or a sole proprietor or S Corp or whatever you're going to do, you need to do it. Okay. This is not what group coaching is about. It's not about helping you determine which business structure is going to work best for you. Figure it out. You have to have a business phone number. Okay. This is a phone number that when someone calls it, it is answered with your business name. And this is where, you know, business is conducted. You also need a physical business address. Now, if you don't have a physical business address, then you need to get one. And Opus Virtual Offices would probably be the best. They are my virtual business address. However, they are a physical address and they passed the muster when it came to registering my business with Sam.gov. As you all know, Sam.gov does not like virtual addresses. However, Opus worked out well with me, even though it is a virtual address, simply because they have a physical location. You need that. Website. You need something in that space that doesn't have to be fancy. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make sure you have a website if you're one of the first 50. So website is not as critical, right? Um, you'll need a professional email. You'll need an EIN. You'll need business insurance, active business insurance. I had to send over a copy of my certificate of liability. And the agency that was requesting um, the services or put that, that put out the request for proposal specified that I needed at least a million dollars worth of professional liability coverage. And I had that. So I was able to send over my certificate to that Florida notary and she was able to get it along with the other documents in to the agency by the deadline. Okay. So you have to have these things together. So you have to have business insurance and you really need to go ahead and register your business at sam.gov. Now you can do that, you know, after you join group coaching, but I really want to push forward, push the, the point home that we're not starting at the beginning when it comes to this in group coaching. We're not starting with which business. We're not starting with the basics. Once you come into group coaching, we will help you with some of this, right? But we don't want you to rely on us for all of it. You have to, you have to do those seven or eight things or have at least the intention to get those things done just as quickly as you get into the program as possible. Because our focus is going to be on state and local um, government certifications so that you can get on the radar at the county and the state level for these notary opportunities because that's where they are, okay? The federal level, huh, local and state government folks is where these opportunities are. And the opportunity from last week that the Florida notary and I are participating in together was a set aside. That means that they didn't uh, publish it to anyone else other than woman-owned small businesses, okay? It's money specifically set aside for women-owned small businesses. So this is very, 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 very important because if this goes through, when this goes through, I'm going to speak positively, then everything changes, okay? So make sure you, you know, do whatever you need to do and get going with this government coaching program. Only the first 50 people are going to get that ability to be able to add me on to a contract. Let me be clear. Okay. I got time and date stamps on these things. And only the first 50 people are going to get access to a website if you don't have one. Not only a website, but I'm calling it a government contracting marketing software because it's more than just a website. It gives you the ability to not only look professional, but to automate your entire government contracting business. You'll get access to that for the entire time that you're a coaching student of mine. So I'm looking forward to it. Super excited about it. Y'all like my picture? I like my picture. I'm so glad I got brand photos, y'all. Oh my gosh, it just changed the entire game. Oh, let me show you real quick. So on the government contracting, when you log in, after you've registered, you're going to see this. Go over to the menu on the left and click on Let's Get Started, and it'll take you to the welcome and here's the office hour. So if you want to get an idea of, you know, oh, it's telling me I don't have permission to access that page, but I definitely do. So let me do this. Okay. So now we're in here and this is the, this is the office hour calendar. 
So here you'll see when we're having office hours and office hours will start at whatever time is indicated on the calendar and then it will go until I've gotten everybody taken care of, right? And so there will be an email sent out to let you know that office hours are going to be open. And then if you have a specific thing that you want to talk about during office hours, you will let me know that and we'll just go in order of who responded first when it comes to dealing with the actual uh, item during the office hours, um, during the time we're in office hours. So this will allow everybody to get their thing worked on as well as provide people with all, all, alternate days to be able to come. So here you can see 6 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 7 o'clock. And so it's going to kind of be morning, afternoon, and evening. But you'll have three opportunities every single week, um, except for the 20th. My son's birthday is on the 20th, so I'm going to take that day off. But you'll have three opportunities every week except for that week to be able to have office hours and come in and tell me what you have going on. And we'll be able to work on things together. That's what this group coaching program is going to look like. It's not going to look like you watching a bunch of video recordings. You are going to come into office hours every week. Monica, I've got an RFP. Here is the solicitation number. Can you take a look at it with me? I really think I want to go after it. Let's look at it. That's what we're doing three days a week, every week, okay? Um, so when it comes to the capability statement, that's where we're going to start first. And so once you register, you'll be able to go in, go over to the menu, go to this capability statement, and then just click on whichever one you want. So there's style one. I'll download it just so that you can kind of take a look at it. Okay, so here's an example of one of the capability statement templates. There's a total of four. They're in Microsoft Word. So you're going to have to have Microsoft Word to open them up. They do not open up well in Google Docs, okay? They do not. There are some features that are only um, accessible or available when you open them up as a Word document. But they're a template that you can utilize to be able to come up with your own. And there are three more styles in addition to this one. So when you log in, check out each of those styles to determine which one you want to start working with. And that will be what we start working with. Now, when we do your capability statement, that will kind of bring out the NAICS codes that are most closely aligned with your business history, with your proven results of whatever business that you are in. And if you are new to business and you don't have business history yet, then don't worry. You've chosen the notary space, which is a very smart move because by choosing the notary space, you can use the notary NAICS code or the other legal services NAICS code to be able to kind of get your foot in the door and start going after government contracts. And it may not have anything to do with notary. You might find a contract that, um, you know, the Department of Justice needs, you know, a thousand blue ink pens or something like that. You can get your foot in the door by registering your business with SAM.gov at the federal level um, and then at the state level and the county level. You can register as a notary at those levels, but then you can still pursue contracts that make sense that you're able to, you know, perform on, especially when you have somebody who is backing you up. So, it doesn't have to be in your area of expertise, okay? So if you're a new business owner and you're thinking this is not for you or you need more time, no, you don't because, especially if you're one of the first 50, because now you've got me and I've got the two years and the almost half a million dollars in revenue that I'm going to add to you that makes you look good, okay? So I'm super excited about all of my future group coaching government contracting students Make sure you're one of the first 50 to sign up so that you can get that benefit of me coming on as your subcontractor and the 12 months access to the government contracting marketing software. I am super excited about all of the things government contracting and I cannot wait to see you in office hours. I'll talk with you soon. Peace.